Hallo Leute, willkommen zu einer Folge von NBA 2K23, was ganz neu ist auf meinem Kanal. Falls ihr das kennt, ist halt Basketball, logisch. Das seht ihr auch hier. Wir spielen heute ein bisschen Karriere. Karriere. Ich bin schon 78er Overall. Bin Power Forward, also ein Shooting Pigman, der schießen kann, äh, der, der werfen halt kann, danken und Rebounds fangen. Da habe ich schon ein paar Blocketten, zwei Verteidigung, äh, finnischen Blocketten, vier Wurfblocketten, drei Spielblocketten und fünf Defensivblocketten. So, gehen wir mal eine Runde rein. Wir spielen jetzt gegen die Grizzlies. Weil die haben eine, die haben eine Statistik von 13 zu 17, wir haben eine von 15 zu 6. Also relativ ausgeglichen wahrscheinlich, die Teams. Ja, gehen wir mal in der Runde rein. NBA 2K23 is finally here, which means we all can jump into some my team mode. And it has some big changes this year. I can't wait to get started. So today, we're joined by my team producer, John, to talk about all the updates. John, how's it going? Thanks, Chris. It's going great. I'm so glad that 2K23 is finally out. So what can people look forward to when they jump into my team this year? Well, for the first time... Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a mid-season lull. What has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. And the starting lineup yeah. for the Grizzlies. Yeah. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. And it's Morant in at the one spot. Now here's MP. Playing Washington, he was nearly unstoppable. A big deal for many NBA stars. Landing a deal with Gatorade. MP has just secured that for himself. And honestly, it means you've arrived to some degree. Good for MP to close that deal. And a nice move there from Gatorade. Here's Payne. And that one's long. Edwards, a pass to MP. Here's Noel. The three from Russell. It's Payne with the rebound. And some will remember that Desmond Bain was the last pick in the first round in the 2020 draft, which is something he has used as motivation over the years. Now here's Jackson, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Shot clock at five. Here's Moran. Uses the glass on the layup. You know, it's clear now the teams are kicking themselves for not picking Bain earlier in the draft, Smitty. B.A., the reason why he's proven that he can be a huge part of the rotation, a lights-out three-point shooter and rugged defender, a player any team yeah, will yeah. have. Buries it from three. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Grizzlies have gone one for three so far. Pass to Bain. Jackson against MP. Over MP. Misses off the right iron. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Takes a three. That one doesn't drop. Moran against Russell. Moran, the pass to Bain. There's an aggression and a confidence to Destin Bain's game. It helps him get to the line. Drops the first. At the line for the Grizzlies. Desmond Bain. At the line for two. <coughs> Good on both. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. A nice shot by Bain. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Brooks. Back to Moran. Outside Bain. Outside for Brooks. Pulls it. And 
again, Memphis no good. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. But the front office makes the yeah, right moves, which they have in the last few years. They could be hanging up some banners very soon. Pass to Adams. Now here's Jackson. Here's Brooks. And there's the slam. Got to finish it off. It's funny watching Brooks. He kind of lulls you to sleep and then he explodes with an aggressive move. Jackson against MP. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there. Time and time again. Time out call. Memphis. Last time they met was in Memphis. Today's game is about effort and energy. They got crushed on the glass the last time these teams played. You don't have that one guy who gets you 10 plus boards every night. You just have to send more guys to the glass. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Towns. Prince comes in for Noel, and it's McLaughlin in for Russell. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Williams is checked in for Brooks. And Green is subbed in for Bain. MP way outside. Oh, and he can't okay. extend the lead to double digits. Memphis trailing to, uh, here. Uh, outside, Williams. Here's Knight. 12 points for him. On the wing, MP. Over Green. Knight can't hit. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. But if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Well, Memphis shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. And he's going for the lob! Oh, the the lob disrupted, not to be. They're yeah. running. You can snap with that. Pass to Edwards. Here's Gobert. Here's McLaughlin. And that's good. His first punk into the game. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the horse. So it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. 16. The Grizzlies. 8. Ready to move? And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for the team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. They've got D'Angelo Russell. MP is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Rudy Gobert. And it's Noel in at the shooting guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the first line. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. Brooks from outside. It's rebounded by Knight. MP's got rebound number five here tonight. Dylan Brooks has had one start to his career. Solid rotational play. Oh, oh, no. There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. This is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Adams has checked in. Here's Brooks. Rebound Minnesota. MP's got six rebounds in the game. As for Dylan Brooks, he's the glue that holds these guys together, Smitty. No doubt, B.A., he's That's their right. emotional leader on this team. He can take over games at times offensively. He is really the heartbeat of this club. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Looking to end the run. Got a hand on it. 
Nice block by Anderson. Can't get too high off the ground, but uses that 7-3 wingspan to full effect. Back to MP. <coughs> Here's Noel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Six to shoot. Here's Towns. Oh, and the assist goes to MP. And the Timberwolves lead by 18. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Timeout call. Memphis. And they say to win big. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms. Man. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves the with an half impressive 16-point lead the heading into the Bruins. 46, the Grizzlies, 30. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Taylor Jenkins. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. And it's Adams in at the center position, locking down the middle. On the wing, MP, pounded by Moran. MP, the pass to Russell. Russell the move. From deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. Russell's gone one for four from the field. Here's Moran. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Moran's got eight. With the ball on the string, John Morant is toying with the defense. Beautiful. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by yeah, Mobile One. Gone. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. <laughs> Starting the half with three straight misses. <laughs> how they envisioned this one. Back to Payne. Pass to Moran. Here's Adams. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Morant's got his third assist of the night. This is what I like about John ja Morant. He stays oh, open to all good. options. Right there, finds the open man. Here's Russell. Can't get it to drop. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Brooks outside. Oh. Inside. Here's Jackson. And Jim there are the Grizzlies with another bucket. Assisted. Three straight Dylan to begin Brooks. this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Outside Edwards. MP against Jackson. Pass to Noel. Back to MP. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy pass. Both good from the line that time. Stopping you. The Grizzlies have gone three of three in the second half. Here's Brooks. Pass to Adams. Played it in with a nice Steven touch Adams. off the window. Adams has got four points in the quarter. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. I mean, during his first playoffs, yeah, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player, going in 31 in his playoff debut, an upset win over Utah. Brooks outside. Outside Moran. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Rebound Minnesota. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks. Also great in those first ever play-in games, Greg. Yeah, B.A. With the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State. Locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. Russell against Moran. Two minutes remaining in the third. That's him missing. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. 
They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused, and they execute. Time out call. Memphis. There's no way Coach likes this effort, though. They need... Here's Moran. Rudy Gobert is out there with MP. Then there's Anthony Edwards. Then it's Jalen Noel. And it's Russell in at the point guard position. So that's the Timberwolves five. Now here's Adams. Six on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Here's Payne. Oh, great D that time from MP. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Here's Noel. Back to MP. Adam grabs the miss. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Pass to Bain. Back to Moran. Now Adams. Down low. Here's Brooks. And that was good. If you were as strong as Brooks, Steven, you'd also be aggressive inside. The Timberwolves shooting it well at 59%. Here's Noel. MP with it. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Gobert. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Steven Adams. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Timberwolves. They've been lights off from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game plan. You know what? They impressed me from mid-range. I mean, understanding that there's more places to shoot than beyond the arc. The height and the reach. That makes Jackson practically unstoppable. Pass tonight. From deep three-point okay. range. Lost the water queen. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for Rudy Gobert. For Memphis, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Moran against Russell. Moran, the pass to Bain. Jackson for three. Knocks it down. Jackson's got five points now in the quarter. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Here's Knight. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. John Moran picks one up. And we've heard the cautionary tales of the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B, I think they're getting better financial advice. But I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money. I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Moran against Russell. Outside for Brooks. Here's an eight-footer, and they pick up two. There is the flexibility of Jaren at the offensive end. He can post, he can put it on the floor, or he can just catch and fire. And here's MP from outside. Memphis, they're working against the clock now. They've only given up five points here on the fourth. With the floater, and Moran gets it to go. John Moran's floater is the great equalizer. He doesn't have to get to the rim to do damage. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. They're trying to come back in this game. No, bottom line, it's about energy and effort, exemplified by a possession like that. Back to Edwards. Pass tonight. Now Towns. 
Adams covering. Clock at four. Shoot from the elbow. Goes back up. Well, they can't hit. Memphis has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Brooks, the pass to Jackson. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Timberwolves. Their shot blocking was a huge Just advantage in this game. Yeah, I love the excellent defense in the paint. It led to a lot of key stops. And this will get marked out since their 16th win of the year. And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. He played big all night. Relentless on the glass, just helping his team in the possession battle. This has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Jackson against MP. There's the triple. Oh, another miss by MP. Outside Moran. And they get it back. From deep. No good. So we see the Timberwolves get the win here. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were being. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. We'll see you next time. I don't do it off King Papa. Yeah, I think we're just mm -hmm. grabbing Bro, what are you doing, uh, popcorn man? Why would I not make popcorn? <laughs> All right, here we go. Our top story today is the sudden or not. All right. That nice. couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> yeah. I'd say there's a night. <laughs> Verbesserte Fähigkeit, die Stanzwürfe zu verwandeln, wenn du Zeit für den Sportwurf ist. Dr. Dre, he got a Super Bowl. Last night, I was texting Jack Dorsey. That's the perks you get from being super dope. This is real life. Ain't no act in it. All these rap bitches rap in it. Every little thing I do is mad different. Got my little cousin playing badminton. Gave my little bro a quick 50 piece. He got the whole pit. And I've been stacking up all these assets. Can be conducting any bad business. Like, whoa, hey, you keep that drip on me. My, I'm big homie. Huh, hey, I can't ever slip homie. My mama might flip on me. Like, whoa, hey, drop top cool in a bitch. So I rest my case.